Hey everybody, in this week's video you're going to learn all about how to paint a mountain landscape in oil paints. You're going to learn everything from the mediums to use, to how to layer the painting, and even the brushes to use. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Brian McCormick and this is Gallery Bry. If you're new to my channel, I post a new video every Friday on oil painting techniques, materials, and even art marketing. So if you wanna improve your oil painting, grow your art business, start now by hitting subscribe, hit that notification bell. And if you're new, make sure to comment new down in the comments so that I can welcome you personally. So with that, let's go ahead and start painting. All right, everybody. So I am starting this painting with a toned paper of Venetian red. So this is a commission for a client and they wanted a little bit of red on her painting to shine through. So I like Venetian red, it works pretty good. And then from there, I just mapped in the general shapes for everything. So at the beginning stages, I really am just starting out with general two dimensional shapes. You really wanna try and think of the painting as being two dimensional. You don't wanna to think too much about form and three dimensions. I'm using a six from Princeton. This is a catalyst brush. It's a synthetic bristle brush. It works pretty good. I really like it. It's a pretty firm brush, holds the paint very well and it's a very good all-around brush for a painting of this size. This is a five by seven. So as you can see, I've blocked in most of the general shapes and you're not really looking at details. You're just trying to get the, the lights and the darks and the general values blocked in so that you can go ahead and then move forward. So I did this painting in about three or four layers. I'm using a medium of Galkid gel it is a fast drying alkyd gel from Gamblin and I really like it when I'm working on commissions because I can layer the painting, it'll dry very quickly and then it'll enable me to get it varnished and shipped off so that I don't have to wait for the oil paint to dry for weeks at a time. So here I'm working on another layer where I am going ahead and putting in some more color i am refining the mountain a little bit i try to keep the mountain pretty rough and vague since it's further away you don't want to have too much detail there and now i'm trying to put in some more darks in the foreground so as things move closer they get darker so this is known as atmospheric perspective so i have the the darker parts of the trees i'm going ahead and i'm working a little bit on the lake in the foreground and also there's a little bit of grass on a, a hilly knoll in the foreground as well the colors that i'm using are pretty basic i'm using yellow ochre burnt sienna i'm using mars black and i'm also using some Payne's gray for my blues in the sky and some of the grays i find that it works pretty good Payne's gray is essentially just ultramarine black and a little bit of yellow in there and that's the mix from gamblin so now i'm trying to work on a little bit more of the form in this painting so you know i guess you could say this would be the modeling stage when you're thinking of things more in three dimensions. So I try to put a little bit of shape into the trees, a little bit more light and a little bit more shadow. So they start taking on a little bit more of a shape and form. Same thing with the foreground. Again, the mountain I wanna try and keep back and distant. So I have lighter values back there, darker values in the foreground to bring things a little bit more further towards the viewer. And now I'm just working on some highlights. So from this point, I think that the painting is pretty much done. I'll probably go back and refine a little bit of stuff on the left-hand side of the painting, and then it'll be ready to ship off to the collector. All right, everybody, now's where I wanna hear from you. If you have suggestions on how to create an oil painting or for mediums that you use or brushes that you like, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so that you get a notification every week when a new video comes out on Friday. So with that, have a great week and we'll see you next Friday.